Th this is to show the universe. Okay, you have many, many dots. These are multitude beings. Okay, many, many uh, sentient beings, human and animals in the world. Okay, human animal. You can see here only one. One means okay. We are connected. We are one. Because once born, we only have one choice: one day to get old and then to die. And uh, so we share so many things. We share so many. Com uh, in, we have so many in common. So it's one. And then, if we understand the commonality, the interconnectedness that we have as a human being, as a sentient being, then this mind is called great compassion. You can see here this enlightened mind, enlightened mind. With this enlightened mind, you can see here one, two, three, four, and this is the middle part, the middle part of of, of Buddhism. This is uh, compassion. This is wisdom. And from this wisdom, there comes, according to Theravada Buddhism, four stages of enlightenment: Sota Panna, um, Stream Enterer, Sakatakami, Once Enterer, Anakami, Non Enterer, and then Arahant. And of course, he has a. Uh, um, there's a a uh, in Burmese character. You can see a in in English, om in uh, Sanskrit. A uh, uh, is the beginning as well as the end. The om, yes, and and a uh, the beginning of program is called awaitsa. That's ignorance. Okay, that the beginning of that ignorance, not understanding this one, not understanding that we are connected. Okay, uh, this is um, the um, the the beginning of the problem. Uh, in the office, if the boss and the staff, if they uh, don't understand that they are connected, that their success and failure are connected. Then that will be the the beginning of the problem. So the beginning of the problem is called awaza in in Pali. Then the beginning of the end is called amata dhamma or adhingata dhamma. Okay, that's when we no longer um, personalize. We no longer personalize ourselves, but instead, okay, we we feel that everything is um, connected. Today we have a bigger picture because the paper is big. Um, yes, um, th this one you can you, you can see the all religions in the world. The universal love message, the message of universal love and universal respect that we should have uh, uh, among all the religions. You can see, well, this is Bodhi, the leaf of, of Bodhi tree. This is Buddhism. You can see this is Islam. You can see this is Christianity. Uh, this is Hinduism. This is um, Taoism. Taoism. Uh, this, Again, Taoism, like this, this is heart, heart, this is human being, okay? We choose what we want, which is well. And of course, um, uh, so the Venerable Teacher is saying that Buddhism offers um, the middle path here, the middle path and the way to Nibbana. But all the religions, they, they, are, they are like um, the, the sun and the moon, they give light to uh, people in their life. Um, is uh, the, this region guide them in their life? Like <laughs> Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-
Um, the other day, the, you know, is um, okay. Um, the, something similar. Okay, was, was explained the other day in these uh, arena uh, country club. But today, this um, drawing is more sophisticated. You have more picture here, and uh, you have the heart here, and you have four. These four, um, you, you can it, it, it think about as meditator the four foundation of mindfulness, satipatthana. That you can say that, and you can also say, in terms of EQ, there's uh, the four divine qualities, Bhyamasutya, Leva. So there are four of them. So if we have these four, you can see that you know we would we would go up through the middle path. The middle, we are walking the middle path. And if we walk the middle path, there will only be pluses in, in our life. The plus of positive quality and the multiplication of the positive qualities. But if we don't go straight, if we don't follow, if we don't go straight, then there will be two extremes. You can only see the minus in terms of quality in life. And you can see here the number two, three, um, <laughs> Seattle reminds you, this is not lottery number. <laughs> it's, it's the Dhamma, it's the Dhamma, not lottery. <clears throat> Uh, uh, don't use this number and buy lottery. If you win the lottery, people will blame him. <laughs> you have two, three, you have four, one, again three, four, two, one. Okay. Um, two, we have mind and body. And three, is, uh, we, we should look at them. Uh, in terms of uh, our mind and body are, are ever changing and um, not satisfactory and you know uncontrollable and then if we see if we know that four we will realize the four truths and number one we will achieve nibbana that's um, everlasting peace <clears throat> and uh, here you can see uh, three, uh, four, two, one. Uh, this is the reverse. Three, three, four, two, one. Ka. Si, sam si, song nung. Unsa ka si ane man man. Okay. So three here. If we take it, you can interpret this either positively or negatively. In terms of negativity, if we have the three rules of um, negative negativity like loba dosa moha. Loba dosa and moha. There's uh, greed, hatred, and, and 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 delusion. If we have them, if we have them, then and here life, which is for the, the, the four elements. Four, four elements. Um, <laughs> <laughs> four, 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 like this is kind of like Z. Okay, you have to go Z. There's a two, three, four, one. Okay, in the same way here you have three, four, two, one. Again, Z like that. Okay, so three here, this is the three Akusla Mula, the three roots of unwholesomeness. Um, <clears throat> so with that, then, then four, you know, we have. Um, the four elements of, of, of the f physical body 
Um, and, and one is the my, the my, and then two, two are the um, two choices that we can make in life. We can choose positive or negative. Uh, if we choose uh, positive, then that's heaven. If we choose negative, that's hell. Uh, here and now and also next life. So uh, this is what uh, the message, the second part is to be aware of the um, the, the, the three unwholesome roots. And you also have the five dots here. The, the middle one is the mind, and the four is uh, the four foundation of mindfulness. And um, this one is a little bit similar to the earlier. Uh, you have Om, two Om, and the, in the middle you have four dots. So I have already explained the two Om. The Avijja and then this is Asankata Dhamma. Avijja, this is the beginning of all the negative things, all the bad things. This is Asankata Dhamma. There's uh, unconditioned things, that the beginning of all the good things. <clears throat> and, and plus here, avijja plus means you plus with negative things. You increase the negative thing. Here, minus means, okay, letting go, letting go of things, that nibbana. Of course, this is the middle part, the heart. And okay. <clears throat> they are the four symbols, the four symbols. Of, of mathematics that we should take into consideration uh, in daily life. We should uh, always um, or check ourselves to know which point we are, whether we are getting some pluses or minuses, or whether we are multiplying negative thing or positive thing, or whether we are uh, sharing, distributing uh, good thing or bad thing. You know, we, we should always check among ourselves using these four mathematical symbols. Um, of course, this, is the, this symbol, the symbol of danger is actually the symbol of death, that uh, we should uh, remind ourselves that life uh, doesn't last forever, it, it will come to the end. So if we have this awareness, awareness of, of death, our heart will be enlightened we will treat each other as a human being and everything will be pleasant. We will be walking the middle part and then we will reach the four stages of enlightenment. Um, this is uh, five of the, f the, the six elements. Uh, we are aware of four elements, uh, the material element, elements. But in some other places, uh, you have about six elements. Mind is one of them. Consciousness is one of them. And, and four of them are like this. Okay. Um, the, la the, 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 the lowest one is the earth. And then the water and then the fire, and the wind, and then space. Space, okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, these are the elements that, that we are composed of. Um, the Buddha taught his son Rahula these uh, six elements. This is uh, the pagoda of Dhamma. It's called Dhamma Chedi. Dhamma Chedi. Okay, the pagoda of the Dhamma that we should have in our heart. Um, the pagoda outside, the pagoda on the ground, it doesn't belong to us. It's outside us. In order for us to benefit from anything from the Buddha, to benefit anything from the Buddha, we should have the pagoda in our heart. This is the... Um, uh, message 
if we have compassion, if we have tolerance, then we have uh, the pagoda, this pagoda in our heart. Um, very often you see in the Buddha, you know, at the, uh, on the forehead of the Buddha, you see this one. Um, <clears throat> uh, three eyes, this is the third eye. This is uh, being knowledgeable about the world, being knowledgeable about spiritual thing. This is about um, enlightenment. But enlightenment. So, um, uh, again, uh, to say that one becomes a Buddha when one is enlightened and then enlightenment is counted, is considered as another eye, the third eye. Of course, you can also see this when someone has, uh, has become enlightened. Uh, the three aspects, three aspects of enlightenment. One aspect is um, 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 healing the past. You have to heal your past. In the past, we all have painful experiences, but we have to heal them. It's called Bokbe Niwata. You see your past lives. And the second one is that you come to see those painful experiences as being common, not unique to yourself. This is called Divine Eye, Deipaseku. And the last one is called Purification of Emotion, so when you come to see that everything is interrelated and you are not alone, actually nothing is unique or special to you than this being related. So in, in, um, in brief, just the initial U-D-R. This is the symbol of simplicity, you know, simplify, a simple life. Simple life or renunciation. You can see, um, you see, we can, as, as one can survive on this thing, with this thing. You know, we don't really need a lot to survive. This is a walking stick, this is a fan or um, an umbrella. And, and th this one is um, uh, maybe your clothes, you know, one set of clothes, and this one is your, um, pre uh, your meditation bead and your uh, slipper. Uh, someone who is really keen <clears throat> so, with this simple thing, uh, people with few possession, uh, they are closer to peace. Uh, they are more serious about peace than people who accumulate more. And of course, these symbols themselves, they have their own meaning. They represent something. You see, okay, this, uh, the two, uh, uh, well, the, the, the slippers, they are there so that um, you don't, you don't uh, you know, step on uh, dangerous things. This is for protection. Um, again, uh, this is called sila. Sila, this is a moral practice. Okay, moral practice. And the walking stick is just to make you steady and stable. This is like concentration, samadhi. And 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 the the fan, the and and uh, the 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 fan is okay. To uh, each time, each each time when we, when we use it, we are reducing, we are we are um, uh, to, uh, to taking away the negative emotion, negative thought within us. And of course, this is water is not the clothes. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
I just got the confirmation. This is the water bottle. I think it's made in Singapore. <laughs> I'm not quite quite familiar with this product. So this water bottle is about compassion. Okay, if you have water, so you you cool people, and of course this one is about. Developing your inner mind. This is not. I just got another definition. This is not a beer can. Um, of course, you know this is the the four uh, the, the a four part, the a four part that combine uh, that um, um, construct eight fact eight. Uh, this a four part they construct uh, the middle part. If you walk on the middle part, this is the middle part, middle, one. and you can see you can achieve four stages of the highest spiritual uh, achievements. Of course, here you have. Four Satipatthana mindfulness, four foundation mindfulness, and four Brahma Vihara, the divine beings. And again, we have so many numbers here: four, 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 five, five, seven, eight. <laughs> I don't want to repeat it. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. And and four there's four foundational mindfulness. Another four there's four ways of making effort. You see, and 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 four another four is uh, four kinds of um, um, uh, supernatural uh, super power supernatural power five five kinds of power bala and. Another five, five kinds of uh, faculty. Uh, faculty is about being in control. Then seven, seven components, seven factors of enlightenment. And eight is the noble eight four parts. The eight, uh, right attitude, right thinking. If you have right attitude, then you have right thinking. Or the right emotion, then right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right concentration. Uh, this is all to explain. This is the emptiness of shunyata. Okay, this is symbol of nibbana. Symbol of nibbana that everything is empty, meaning everything is interrelated. There is nothing um, permanent. Oh, as an addition definition is that this is not a cake. Not a Japanese cake. This is the lotus flower, which is above the water. This is to signify someone is very intelligent, to understand the Dhamma and to purify themselves. And this one is, has been explained earlier. Many people that we are interrelated. If we understand how we are interrelated, then we become compassionate and enlightened. This is um, compassion, enlightened. Uh, <clears throat> this is uh, yin and yang, and two um, components of nature. Again, up and down. Uh, the two destination of. Um, Bad thing and good thing, wholesome and unwholesome. One goes down, the other up. Uh, 
this one has already been explained. This is Om. He is the beginning of, of the good thing, also the beginning of the bad thing. Beginning of the bad thing, says, there's ignorance. The beginning of the good thing is Nibbana. Asankata, when your mind no longer repeats negative things. This one, um, you, you can't see the beginning, you can't see the end. This is what happens to people when emotionally they are very confused. Okay, they, when they are lost, this is what happened to them. This is the, the nature of ignorance. You can see how the um, how it's not that that you can't even see the beginning and the end. But this one we have just to rely on ourselves um, to find the beginning. Uh, so in terms of the beginning, in terms of psychology, we say is ignorance. Once we find that, then we are on the way. That's the beginning of the end. This is the symbol of attachment. It's a monkey holding something, never letting it go. Yeah. The monkey never stops eating, as you can see. Uh, this is a clinging. It is uh, even stronger than attachment. In Pali, we call upadana. upadana. Is uh, this this uh, bird is very attached to its place? Wherever it goes, it comes back here. This is like life. This is life. Life. Then the bigger the tree, the deeper the roots. So very difficult to um, uh, to let go. Good. This you can see like here a baby being born, a baby. So once something is born, maybe maybe plant, maybe a human being is born, then we are, what we are going to face in life is uh, there will be a struggle. Even if you come from a, a, a very very much way to do family, you know you still have to work very hard in the school. So it's like burning. Um, the Buddha's, one of the Buddha's teaching is that all the senses are burning. Uh, uh, people um, with wisdom, they are not afraid of death, but they are afraid of birth. Uh, people with no wisdom, they are not afraid of birth, but they are afraid of death. This is all eight, the nature that we all face. This is sickness. This is sickness. All age. Yeah. <clears throat> Life is a package. Once we are born, we got all this as part of the package. This is death. There's no discrimination. Okay, um, death treats everyone equal. Uh, rich or poor, uh, man or woman, um, young and old, everyone is the same. Uh, this is, uh, is how we should view our body. Our body, okay, is full of uh, skeletons. Um, hundreds of you know um, pieces of bones joining together. Again, he, uh, um, we have already explained earlier. We should be mindful of death. Uh, that our time is limited. So with this awareness. Um, we we will be 
we will be adding more positive quality and reducing negative quality. If we are not aware of this, we are not, if we are not aware of the uh, that that uh, we are not aware of the fact that our time is limited, then we will be uh, adding only the negative one and uh, the minus is on the positive side. So, so we we um, have to have a sense of urgency and and not waste our time, but you know, um, make sure that we develop all the good qualities. The three fires: uh, greed, um, anger, and delusion. Uh, they are like arrows, you know, piercing your heart. Okay. This is an empty house. Uh, the, our physical body is like an empty house. There's no one in control. There's no owner. In the same way, this body, there's no one who can control that. We must not. Uh, we must not fall ill. Um, we can't even control, uh, we can't even uh, tell ourselves not to get headache. So our, how our physical body is um, subject to all kinds of illness. And the three animals uh, we explained the other day, the um, chicken that like greed, and then snake like anger, and then pig that says that's, uh, ignorance, lopa dosa moha. Okay. Okay. Um, the, the the pig. Okay. It just eats and sleep. It's very lazy. It just it just to make itself bigger. And the snake. Okay. Um, is easily is agitated, and and uh, ready to strike at anyone who comes his way. And the. Okay. Okay. So, so, if we have a lot of ignorance, like like a pig, then you know, um, so we will be consumed by the world. Okay, consumed by the world, by consumed by worldly condition, consumed by anger, by consumed by um, uh, pleasant and unpleasant. This is a rabbit uh, in the forest, a, a very peaceful animal, uh, and is vegetarian and, and it doesn't harm people. And this is a peacock, very beautiful, and people with uh, five precepts, uh, they are as beautiful as, as this. They beautify the environment. This is deer. Deer is also very peaceful. It's associated with the first teaching of the Buddha, the first teaching of the Buddha Dhammachaka. <clears throat> this is a lion. A lion, um, the sign of courage. Okay, sign of courage. The Buddha would say something uh, with a lot of courage. People in Singapore remember this. It's Mount Lion. I don't. I have to ask. What? What? What does it mean? When uh, a lion and a fish together, um, if if you want to, um, to take it. it, it Negatively, there's attachment and clinging, you know, working together. 
in, in um, but on the other hand if you take it positively there's a sign of courage in the lion and then also in the sign of you know exploration in the fish yeah, together again tiger you can take this into two uh, both positive and negative in terms of in terms of um, um, negativity, you know, it, it's full of anger, it's full of um, uh, danger. But in, in, in terms of positive thing, you know, someone in, in search of uh, peace and, and uh, wisdom uh, lives in a, like, like a tiger lives alone in the forest. This is a rhino. Rhino is just one horn, one horn rhino. So um, if you don't have a good friend um, who helps you to purify yourself, then better to stay alone. This is the uh, instruction for... This is Mount Everest. Um, very strong and stable. It can withstand all kinds of wind, so we have to. We should um, develop our mind uh, as strong as uh, Mount Everest, so that we are not shaken when we are faced with uh, praise and criticism. You can see here someone is uh, rolling, okay, rolling a boat, a raft, um, and he's in a rush to reach the other shore. This is to say um, there's no much time, uh, we have to rush. And someone is sweeping the ground, uh, in the same way we have to sweep a negative emotion daily. This is a fisherman, someone, okay, who fishes in the water, um, and you can see the fish. And uh, the fish, they don't actually, the, uh, the, the fish don't actually know, uh, uh, the, the, the fish is not aware of the danger, is only aware of the food. This is the reason it gets stuck, it gets caught. In the same way we get caught uh, in what we see, we get caught in what we hear, we get caught in what we smell, in what we taste, in what we feel, in what we think, because we are not aware of the danger. The last one is um, a spider, a, sp a spider's web and the spider sitting inside. At, uh, in the middle, sitting very quietly, <laughs> and when small insects fall on the web, that causes uh, vibration, and the spider will go and eat them, and then come back to the uh, middle, to its home, where it, it makes its home, and stay there very quietly, and wait for another insect to fall on that. In the same way, meditator, uh, works on breathing in and out, which is the middle, and then when pain arises, he will use his um, his um, mindfulness to go and work on on the pain, and then come back to breathing. Or if um, any thought arises, he would also <coughs> he would also you know uh, use his um, concentration to go and work on his thought, and then come back to breathing. More okay. Um, you can see the bee and the butterfly and also the, um, the, the flowers. So 
Uh, they meet each other, you know, uh, for some reason, and and just temporary. Uh, there's a saying of the Buddha in the Dhammapada that we should treat each other like this. The bees and the butterflies, they don't damage the flowers, yet they rely on the um, the flowers, okay, to to live. So we should depend on the community and other people, but without hurting them. This is a turtle, and no, we should um, we should be as mindful and 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 dignified as the turtle. This one is, has already been explained earlier. Uh, this is the hottest one, which I don't think I can explain. And, and he hasn't explained me. And every symbol points to Nibbana. This is, that's all the hint I got, okay? So I think this is your homework. Thank you.